In this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There are several great improvements. If you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. One of the Workbench upgrades makes pinned tabs more prominent. It's now easier to identify them. So let's pin this tab. The pinned icon will always show even when the tab is not active and even if the tab has unsaved changes. So if we go back to this pinned tab and we make a change, it will now reflect both states. We can see that it's pinned and also that it needs to be updated. And now even if we go to another file, we can still see that the pinned tab has unsaved changes. IntelliSense received several updates. The first one is Resizable Suggestions. You can now resize suggestions by dragging the sides or corners of the control. So let's go in here and let's add a const C equals, and we'll start typing document. Now we see we have this IntelliSense control that pops up. We can resize it horizontally or vertically or both at the same time by selecting the bottom corner. These changes are persistent and will be restored across sessions. Not only is the suggestions resizable, if we open up the details, we can also resize this. To set the sizes back to the default, we can open the command palette and search for reset suggest widget size. Since we're talking about suggestions, this video is sponsored by Kite. Kite is a free auto completion engine that uses machine learning, which is what makes it stand out and also makes it the best auto completion engine that I've used. I highly recommend that you download Kite and try it out. It's completely free and supports over 16 programming languages and 16 IDEs, so give it a try. The link is in the description below. I know you'll like it because I love it. Code faster with Kite. The suggestions control can now have its own status bar at the bottom. To enable it, we'll go to the settings and search for editor suggest show status bar, and we can check this. Now we can open the suggestion by pressing control space, and this will let us know if a completion supports inserting, replacing, or both. So in this example, if I went up and selected floor, and I chose to insert by hitting enter, we'll get floor seal, which is not valid. So if we undo that and we try this again and we select floor and we press shift enter for replace or alternatively we could click replace. Now we'll get math.floor, which is what we would want. If we go back into our settings and we search for suggest insert mode, we can select our preference here, whether we want insert or replace to be the default. By default, it's insert but I think I want to change this to replace. Now when a suggestion supports both, it will default to your preference. We can also move the cursor while suggestions are shown to see more suggestions. So here on the padding left, I could press control space to get my suggestions. And then if I move the cursor to the left, I'll start getting more suggestions. If I could change this to top. This could come in very handy. The recent update also states that custom snippets in Emmet are back, but I didn't even know that they were gone actually. So I have a snippets.json file and that is in my user snippets. So the first thing that you'll do is go to your settings.json file and add emmet.extensions path and then enter the path to your user snippets. I'm on Windows, so in this case it's under app data roaming code user and then snippets. So in this very basic HTML snippet, I just have it named my UL, and it's a UL with two LIs. So if I go to this HTML document and I just type in my UL, we can see Emmet popping up and giving us a preview of what it's going to look like. So I can hit enter, and now I have my custom list. Now, snippets in general also now automatically refresh when a snippet file is saved. So if we go back to the snippet file, let's just change this to test save it, we'll go back into our HTML file, delete this, and we start typing T-E-S-T, -E and we can see our Emmet abbreviation. 
it still works without having to refresh. There are two new settings for JavaScript and TypeScript that give you the option to automatically insert spaces between empty braces. If we search for braces, we'll see under JavaScript format, insert space after opening and before closing empty braces. And the same thing for opening and closing non-empty braces. The default is true, so it will insert spaces in between empty braces. If we uncheck those and then save it, it will then remove empty spaces. And that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.